Welcome to Nursat Satellite Station, Intel Elimir TV. Let's start with the headlines. Pope Francis sends a message on the occasion of Lent. Christian schools in the kingdom provide aid to those affected by the Syrian earthquake. Graduation of a new group of catechists in the Holy Land. Inauguration of the Abrahamic family house in Abu Dhabi to include a mosque, a church, a synagogue. Welcome back. On the occasion of the time of Lent, His Holiness Pope Francis addressed his message to the faithful this year, entitled The Asceticism of Lent, a synodal procession in which His Holiness stopped at the Transfiguration incident, pointing out that in this liturgical time, the Lord Jesus takes us with Him to be unique to us. Adding that in the 40-time Lent, we are called to climb a high mountain with Jesus in order to live with the holy people of God, in order to overcome our lack of faith, deepen our knowledge of the Master, and accept the mystery of divine salvation. We must let Him lead us and depart from apathy and pride for the seemingly arduous synodal journey, and prepare for Easter to live the Passion and the Cross with faith, hope, and love until we reach the Resurrection. On the occasion of the Feast of the Entry of the Master into the Temple, Swafiye, Bishop Philomenus, Archbishop of Pella, presided over the sunset service in the Church of the Entry of the Master into the Temple. Bishop Christophorus also presided over the service of the Divine Liturgy. After the service, His Excellency held with Bishop Philomenus the Ninth Day Memorial of the Blessed Constantine Qarmash. Then he congratulated the parishioners on the occasion of the feast of their church and thanked the church choir and the monk Linodius. He also thanked the appointment of the economist Farah Haddad as a third priest to serve the church of the master's entry into the temple. A number of priests and deacons assisted in the two services in the presence of a group of believers. The Seminary Institute of the Latin Patriarchate in Jerusalem held a meeting for invitations entitled Where Are You Going? at the Church of St. Paul the Apostle in Jubehe area in the capital Amman. The meeting included many spiritual, recreational and sport paragraphs with the participation of a number of parish youth. On this occasion, the retired Patriarch Fouad Atwal presided over the Divine Liturgy held by the Seminary Institute in the same church. Father Khaled Gammo and a number of priests participated in the Mass. A course for the rehabilitation of Christian education teachers was concluded in the Holy Land with the participation of 28 teachers. On this occasion, a divine liturgy was held at the Bethlehem University Church, headed by Bishop William Shomali, Latin Patriarchal Vicar. A number of priests and the director of the Catechist's office, Father Rimon Haddad, participated in the Mass in the presence of the General Undersecretary of the Patriarchate, Samuel Yusuf, and the families of the graduates and their relatives. In his homily, Bishop Shomali said, Each of you is a religious educator and a companion in the life of faith for their students, urging them to be role models for believers in speech and biographies. This course, funded by the Latin Patriarchate, aims to raise the efficiency of Christian education teachers in schools in Palestine and to provide the opportunity for parishioners to obtain a diploma in catechists. The United Arab Emirates inaugurated in the capital Abu Dhabi the Abrahamic Family House, which includes three places of worship that included a mosque, a church, and a synagogue. The house will begin to receive visitors on the 1st of next March. The head of the Abrahamic Family House, Muhammad Khalifa al-Mubarak, explained that the opening of this edifice reflects the UAE's vision and values for the converge of humanity and the dialogue of cultures and diversity that characterizes this country. He will also devote his efforts to promote coexistence for future generations, in accordance with the principles of the document on human fraternity, which was signed by His Holiness Pope Francis and His Eminence, the Imam of Al-Azhar, Dr. Ahmad Al-Tayyib, in Abu Dhabi in the year 2019. The President of the Pontifical Council for Interreligious Dialogue of the Holy See, Cardinal Miguel Ayusul, said, The Abrahamic Family House in Abu Dhabi is an ideal model for all members of society for different religions cultures, traditions and beliefs to return to the essence, and its interest will focus on promoting dialogue and mutual respect on the path of peace. The General Secretariat of Christian Educational Institutions in Jordan delivered 45 donations collected in the Kingdom to the Jordanian Hashmite Charity Organization to be delivered to those affected in Syria because of the earthquake that struck this brotherly country. The General Secretariat has launched an urgent campaign in its schools to help the brothers in Syria after the disaster of devastating earthquake that caused the death of thousands of lives and tens of thousands of families displaced. The donations included urgent relief items, essential supplies for all ages, and baby milk. The Greek Orthodox Archdiocese of Jordan also sent aid to those affected by the earthquake in Syria, which included 1,400 packages containing medical materials, medicines, emergency and health supplies, milk, 
blankets, clothes, and others, donated by all parishes scattered in the governorates of the kingdom, as well as collecting sums of money that will arrive within days to a designated bank account. Father Francisco Paton, custodian of the Holy Land, confirmed in an exclusive interview that he is in constant contact with all monks currently in Syria, noting that they are working around the clock to bring homeless people from the most affected areas and distribute them to the monasteries to shelter them, despite the damage to some of their facilities, by purchasing the necessary goods for the homeless through cash donations that they receive, in addition to providing more than 4,000 meals for those who have become homeless, with a supply of diesel, gas and blankets for them and their families. Father Paton, custodian of the Holy Land, concluded his speech by instructing all monks in Syria to work with all their energies and give everything they can to do good and help others. The Jordanian Caritas Association held a training course for volunteers in cooperation with Caritas Austria, with the participation of General Authority for Scouts and Guides of the Roman Catholic Archdiocese of Jordan, through the Christian Participation in Society project, where the scout groups of the Commission and the youth of St. George and Umar Sumak participated in the course. The program, which specializes in managing entrepreneurial projects, aims to activate and develop the role of Christian youth in their society and homeland for the public good. Here, dear viewers, we have come to the end of our news, and those were the headlines. Pope Francis sends a message on the occasion of Lent. Christian schools in the kingdom provide aid to those affected by Syrian earthquake. Graduation of a new group of catechists in the Holy Land. We also have Inauguration of the Abrahamic Family House in Abu Dhabi to include a mosque, a church, and a synagogue. For more information, please visit our website, nursatjo.org. Thank you for watching. Until we meet again, have a good day.